Hello YouTube, this is Salam. This video about a project I built about a year ago. One of my friends, he has a 12 feet aluminum boat that's weighed roughly about 150 pounds. He doesn't have a trailer, he used to carry it in the back of his pickup truck when he take it to the lake. And he had to drag it sometime on the ground to take it to the water. So I built these two wheel with the brackets and uh, arm and he could attach them or deattach them to his boat. And he could push his boat to the water like wheelbarrow or a dolly. So I'm going to show you demonstration of the idea and then I show you how I build it. I hope you enjoy this video. This graph represents a side cut for the boat. I had to build two brackets or hinges and two arm with wheels. I designed this setup so the only thing my friend had to do is attach the bracket or the hinges to his boat. As you will see later in the video, I designed the arm so they could be attached in the down position or in the up position when the boat on water. And also they could be deattached. I'm using two pins, the one labeled orange in this drawing to attach and deattach or reposition the wheel to the up position or down position.
I tried to keep the weight down so my friend doesn't have to carry a lot of weight with him. That's why I'm using thin wall square tubing. This over here is the hinging point for the wheel. There will be a lot of stress on it and it will wear out because this is very thin wall. I find these coupling nuts. I grind them a little bit and they fit perfectly now. And I'm going to weld them inside and then I drill them to 3 8 so they act as bushing to prevent this wall from getting wear out. I'm not worrying about this over here because this is just a locking point. I have this one ready. I already held it with two bolts to keep it in center. Actually the pin fitted perfectly. I'm going to make these two angles as one bracket for this arm so my friend when he install it on his boat he doesn't have to worry about aligning these holes and I'm gonna use one thin washer as a spacer so this will be wide enough for this to fit easy and also to hinge easy I made it where he could use two pins and hold it in this position above water or when he tried to uh, push his boats around or take it to the water and he also could remove it detach it from his boat I don't have a second pin, he only gave me this one. He has more of these. He also bought some aircraft nuts to hold the wheel in place.
done deal. I just have to uh, run these corners. So if somebody bumped their leg against it, it won't hurt that bad. And I thought to, to link these two wheels together. You know, they go like this. Connect them over here for additional support. But I don't think it's necessary. We'll try it like this. If uh, they don't wobble too much, I will leave them alone. I think it's very strong. The boat weighs about 200 pounds. So this is sufficient enough to support it. I'll just clean them with the grinder and prime them and then he'll take care of the rest of it. And like I said, he's gonna use aircraft nut to tie this wheel so it doesn't come off. My friend Lanel sent me these pictures a few days ago, so they're very current. He been using these wheels for the last year. He said they work out great with his boat. Sometimes he had to remove them from his boat, and sometimes he just lift them up like I demonstrated earlier. I hope you guys find this video informative. Thank you for your support, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.